<laughs> Michael, Michael, Yuri's got to say goodbye. Oh, we have to say goodbye to Sprout. Sprout. Oh, don't kiss her on the lips. You're going to get letters. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. It was so Thank nice you very to much. see you. Sprout. Bye. Fellow okay. Yeah. yeah. Keep talking. Bye bye. Have Thank you. Bye, friend. All right. Thank you we'll so much, Michael. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> I got it for you. The big, the big door, the big opening, if you will. <laughs> All right, let's talk sweaters, shall let's we? Talk let's talk sweaters. Um, we have wonderful Lori Graham is with us. She's going to give you. us some wonderful tips on how to wear a sweater. I have to say, I don't know if men feel the same way as women do, but I find that sweaters are so bulky that it's really almost impossible to find one that's still flattering, that doesn't make you look like a football player, you know? It's so true. We are going to show you today some sweaters that are not only warm and fashionable, but that will make you not look bulky. And you have like three main tips to follow, right? Yes, correct. So three main tips. The first thing you want to do is say, just say no to 100% cotton. Because? Be cotton uh, is the death of color. So even after oh, a couple washings, it's, so it's going it? to start to look old. Uh -huh. Comfortable, but if it doesn't look good, we can get comfortable and looks good together. Okay. Uh, second uh -huh. tip is you want to stay away from anything that's too itchy. Uh, yeah. No yeah. wool. So, that one's sort of an obvious one. Yeah. 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 So, you know, if it's not comfortable, you're, you're not going to wear it, no matter how greatly you found it on sale. Uh, and then the third thing you want to pay attention to is where does the sweater hit you on your body? So as women, you know, we don't want to draw any extra attention to that uh, problem area. So uh, that would yeah, be... I wish my shirt were actually a little longer. <laughs> oh, you've got a great figure. You have nothing it's to It's stopping right at the big part. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have some models. So you're going to display some of these tips, right? Correct. Yes. Okay, so let's see our first two. We've got a before and after, right? We do. So first up, we have the poncho, which is super hot this season, ponchos and capes. Uh, one thing you want to avoid, again, to, to get away from the bulk, is this. This is the don't, uh, poor thing, lovely girl, but the don't poncho. There is so much excess fabric on here that it's literally making this poor girl look like she just gained 20 pounds. So mm. you want to really watch the scale of the item that you're picking. Whereas over here on Jackie, she has done a great job of having a little bit of a lower hemline, and the width is scaled down perfectly to her uh, proportions as well. Perfect. So all you have to do is throw on a great boot. You can take it into evening, flats during the day, and off she goes, ready for action. Off she Fantastic. goes for okay, our next well, two models. That was that. That's really good. Okay, Ooh. let's see our, oh. Yes, so now we have my dresses. top pick of fall, which is the sweater dress. Now here, again, another lovely model, although we have an ill-fitting sweater dress. So here, again, you want to be uh, careful. There is so much bagginess out in the store, so you really want to pay particular attention. See, we've got, again, we can't see her shape, no waistline on Too this porcel. Too much fabric. Too much fabric. Whereas over here, we have more of a tapered waistline. It's giving her this long, elongated look, which is the key to pulling off the perfect sweater dress. And it's a thin weight sweater, too, which is good. And it's amazing that that bright color, that she looks slimmer in that bright color than she does in black. In black. See, you can actually not wear black. Well, well, I, I'm confused because my wife always has her fat clothes, you know, and she just feels like she wants to put on something big. So you're saying I shouldn't buy her a big, bulky sweater? You can eat more over the holidays right. with this one. Yeah, you can. <laughs> not that my wife's fat. I'm not yeah. saying that because I won't be going home tonight. But, but I was saying, you you know, the big comfy stuff, I shouldn't get bucked. Oh, you're not helping. You're not helping <laughs> laughing over it. Well, but what I'm saying is that she loves those big sort of comfy ones to kind of sit around. Well, no, I shouldn't well, buy that? No, no oversized. But here's the best thing. Uh, comfort and style do not have to be mutually exclusive. So you can uh, okay. actually get both. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That's got what, it. That's Are you board. comfortable in that dress? I feel great. Okay, okay. awesome. Okay. All right, off you go. Great. <laughs> off you go. Got that squared away. I'm so much trouble tonight when and my wife And here we this. have a one of our standard sweaters here, certainly a classic cardigan versus a sweater that again same color scheme but not doing such a great service to her figure here a uh, little bit more box cut and the sad thing is there is so much prevalent uh, box cut sweaters available in any given store at any price range so this is a thing that you want to stay away from because you can see the difference from woman A to Tara over here who is the epitome of femininity in our little mm -hmm. Cardi and it's great, too, because these cardigans, you can pair them with uh, dresses, pants, jeans. They're very versatile. So this will give you uh, a good bang for your buck as well. And it's just yeah. gracing right over here. Her. It's not too much fabric. Exactly. And it's a thin weight. Shape again. without hugging your figure. Okay, Perfect. great. Right. Oh, now we have some sparklies. 
Yeah. See, that's what I would say. You, you're much more yes. sophisticated. But I'm, I'm clearly rubbing off on you. The sparklies. the sparklies are coming. The sparklies are coming with the long sweater. So one thing you want to avoid, a major pitfall with the long sweater is that it can start to look like a bathrobe. So if you have too much fabric again, losing shape, going to start to lose some style. And this girl is clearly too pretty to look like she's wearing. Uh, uh, well, and she's a stylist. Oh, yeah. oh put well, the for, stylist well, in the, the no category. You're, yes. the don't she would never. Taking one for the team. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so over right. here we have this amazing bronze sweater, which adding a little bit of sparkle. You can have fun with your sweater and still be warm and fashionable. And also a thing, too, about the long sweater is that it's really elongating as well and very forgiving. So when you're done, when you have a little bit of the tapered waist here again, we're creating these extra long legs on this one, and but it's not too hit. long. Right, right. It's not too long. Again, the scale is just right. Mid thigh, not too long, not the bathrobe length. So the main tip I think we've taken away from this is proportion. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know, don't allow the comfort to outweigh looking good because you can still be comfortable. No cotton. Just say no to 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. Uh, be careful about where it hits you on your waistline, right. and then uh, last I, but no wool. Yeah. No wool. Yes, no wool. and yeah. no wool. Be careful and to avoid itchy fabrics. And it, it doesn't matter. My wife's still going to wear my sweaters when she wants to be comfortable, yeah. right? No. Don't you do that? Well, you, a big oh. sweater is certainly good yeah. for curling up in front of the TV, right? Sure, she says it smells like you. Uh, up next, oh, we have good. Michael Gaffney is back. He's going to show us how to make our flowers last a month. He's got more tips.